another day another story section 154 of ipc owner or occupier of land on which an unlawful assembly is held whenever any unlawful assembly or riot takes place the owner or occupier of the land upon which such unlawful assembly is held or such riot is committed and any person having or claiming an interest in such land shall be punishable with fine not exceeding 1000 rupees if he or his agent or manager knowing that such offense is being or has been committed or having reason to believe it is likely to be committed do not give the earliest notice thereof in his or their power to the principal officer at the nearest police station and do not in the case of his or their having reason to believe that it was about to be committed use all lawful means in his or their power to prevent it and in the event of its taking place do not use all lawful means in his or their power to disperse or suppress the riot or unlawful assembly section 155 of ipc liability of person for whose benefit riot is committed whenever a riot is committed for the benefit or on behalf of any person who is the owner or occupier of any land respecting which such riot takes place or who claims any interest in such land or in the subject of any dispute which gave rise to the riot, or who has accepted or derived any benefit therefrom, such person shall be punishable with fine, if he or his agent or manager, having reason to believe that such riot was likely to be committed or that the unlawful assembly by which such riot was committed was likely to be held, shall not respectively use all lawful means in his or their power to prevent such assembly or riot from taking place, and for suppressing and dispersing the same. Section 156 of IPC Liability of agent of owner or occupier for whose benefit riot is committed, whenever a riot is committed for the benefit or on behalf of any person who is the owner or occupier of any land respecting which such riot takes place, or who claims any interest in such land, or in the subject of any dispute which gave rise to the riot, or who has accepted or derived any benefit therefrom, the agent or manager of such person shall be punishable with fine, if such agent or manager, having reason to believe that such riot was likely to be committed, or that the unlawful assembly by which such riot was committed was likely to be held, shall not use all lawful means in his power to prevent such riot or assembly from taking place and for suppressing and dispersing the same. Section 157 of IPC Harboring persons hired for an unlawful assembly Whoever harbors, receives or assembles, in any house or premises in his occupation or charge, or under his control any persons knowing that such persons have been hired, engaged or employed, or are about to be hired, engaged or employed, to join or become members of an unlawful assembly, shall be punished with imprisonment of either description for a term which may extend to six months, or with fine, or with both. Section 158 of IPC Being hired to take part in an unlawful assembly or riot, whoever is engaged, or hired, or offers or attempts to be hired or engaged, to do or assist in doing any of the acts specified in section 141, shall be punished with imprisonment of either description for a term which may extend to six months, or with fine, or with both, or to go armed, and whoever, being so engaged or hired as aforesaid, goes armed, or engages or offers to go armed, with any deadly weapon or with anything which used as a weapon of offense is likely to cause death, shall be punished with imprisonment of either description for a term which may extend to two years, or with fine, or with both. Section 159 of IPC Affray, when two or more persons, by fighting in a public place, disturb the public peace, they are said to, commit an affray. Section 160 of IPC Punishment for committing affray Whoever commits an affray, shall be punished with imprisonment of either description for a term which may extend to one month, or with fine which may extend to 100 rupees, or with both. Thanks for watching.